One of the few things Panasonic's new GH3 Micro 4.3 camera doesn't have built in is GPS for photo tagging. Sony's A77 has it built in. Nikon users can buy an easy tag unit and mount it on the camera. I think Panasonic reason that most photographers already have GPS available to them on their mobile or cell phones, so why duplicate it? Since the GH3 has Wi-Fi built in, why not use that to pull the phone and add the positional information to the camera's EXIF tags? And that's what they've done. It takes a little more setting up, but works well once it's done. I'm using a previously set up favourites connection to my Samsung Galaxy phone. Follow me. First thing, switch on the camera's Wi-Fi. The little blue light comes on and up comes the Wi-Fi actions menu. I'll select my Galaxy phone and the GH3 now announces its presence to the phone. Under Settings, Wi-Fi and Networks, select Wi-Fi. If not immediately, you will see the GH3 appear on the list within a few seconds. Tap that and the connection is made. Go back to the GH3 screen and you're asked to start the Lumix link on the phone. Do so. Shortly, this message appears on the GH3 screen. And the phone shows the view through the GH3 lens. Camera and phone are now locked in their electronic embrace. You can see the little GPS icon, third from left. Tap that and a dialogue appears. Tick the record location information box and set the recording interval. The 5 second default works well for me, so I'll leave that. Scroll down to Time Sync and tap it. This will sync the highly accurate GPS satellite time with the camera's clock. So now GPS data is being recorded and we'll go back and take a picture. For ease, I'm going to fire the camera from the remote trigger on the Link app. But out in the field, you'd likely have the phone in your pocket and fire the camera from the shutter button. It doesn't make any difference. Make an exposure. Click. When you're done, whether it's 100 pictures all over the place or as here, go to the GPS icon and hit Send Location Data. You're offered the option to erase the data or keep it. You might as well keep it, unless you've taken thousands of pictures without transmitting the data to the camera. You have a max of 600,000 before the log is full. By the time that was full, you wouldn't need GPS data. You'd know most places in the world by sight. So, data is sent to camera, and camera acknowledges receipt. The data and pictures are in the camera. Now we can tell the GH3 to write the data to the pics. Go to the playback menu, and you'll see location logging. And in that menu, add location data. Hit that, and you're asked to select the session or sessions which you want to annotate. I've selected the most recent. Confirm. And the data is written to the files. To confirm it all works, I'll drop the RW2 file onto EXIF data and have it write the EXIF data to a text file. And there it is. So that's how you do it. It might seem a bit clunky, but when you get used to it, it's straightforward enough. I notice GPS is quite battery intensive on the phone, as is the Wi-Fi on your GH3, so I make sure I switch them off when I'm not using them. All in all, I'd prefer GPS built into the GH3, but that would hit camera battery life and add to costs on an already feature-packed camera, so I guess that's why Panasonic went the way that they did. On the other hand, since the phone and camera are in contact via Wi-Fi and the Lumix link, it would have been neater if, when you took a picture, the camera extracted the location data from the phone and wrote it to EXIF automatically. Maybe that will arrive in later firmware. I hope so. In the meantime, that was how you write GPS data to your GH3 camera files. Thanks for watching.